आर यू किडिंग मी लुक्स लाइक वी हैव अ सर्टन सिचुएशन All right buckle up guys you people are in for a ride so today as you've seen the video's title we will be building your dream gaming pc 2023 and by dream pc i'm not talking about those super expensive super powerful pcs nay not everybody can afford a 4080 4090 right this is something within your reach so what i've seen in the market is lot of people usually keep building pcs around 1 lakh rupees right 1 lakh rupees seems like a sweet spot for a lot of people but people are actually choosing wrong components around this price point guys you can actually build a very powerful gaming pc even manage to you know fit in a 4070 and be able to play 4k gaming as well and that is what i'll be showing you in this video guys it's a very well balanced value for money gaming pc and is basically future proof we will be using all newer gen hardware only guys like brand new cpu brand new platform motherboard brand new ddr5 ram and storage as well so i'm like very excited to talk about this so before we actually get started and talk about the components yaar make sure to like this video subscribe to our channel hit that notifications bell icon on so you people can watch my videos as soon as i post them anyways first of all let me tell you about the cpu that we've chosen for this build now i had a lot of conflict over here like whether should i go for amd cpu or should i go for an intel platform and after careful consideration i went for amd's ryzen 5 7600 cpu guys not the x edition non x edition cpu and main reason for that is price factor this cpu costs only around like 20000 rupees in the indian market and offers 6 cores 12 threads up to 5.1 gigahertz max turbo clock frequency and is a value for money cpu guys you might get a question why i didn't go for intel's 13th gen platform so main reason for that is intel's ecosystem can be a bit expensive guys if you look at intel sci-fi and amd's ryzen 5 right ryzen 5 is always a bit on the lower end only in terms of price factor and also not only that if you go for intel cpu there other boards are also a bit expensive guys so totally by going for amd's ryzen 5 right we have saved almost up to like 20 25000 rupees price difference will come so that is the reason i went for amd's ryzen 5 cpu now obviously we are going with a ryzen 7000 series cpu matlab newer gen am5 platform motherboard only you will need na and in that also we have chosen an affordable uh, b650 chipset motherboard from msi this is a tomahawk wifi edition motherboard b650 and there you go here's the box packaging this is also a great Great motherboard for the price point, guys. Value for money features you're getting. Comes with a stealth black look and offers excellent thermal solution. Look at those chunky blocks of heat sinks on the VRM section and even the chipset area. And not to miss out, it's a newer gen motherboard, right? Obviously, you're getting DDR5 support with high OC clock frequencies and has next gen connectivity on board. Supports PCI Gen 4 SSDs, has Wi-Fi 6E on board, and also Bluetooth 5.2. Now, this motherboard costs around like 20, 22,000 rupees in the Indian market. and again if you feel this is also a bit expensive msi also has even more affordable lineup in the b650 series only and you can go something much more affordable variant b650m here also you can save around like 7 uh, 8000 rupees depending on the variant i'll leave that up to you now keeping that aside and talking about the gpu this is your main element guys whenever you're building a gaming oriented pc build right no matter what sort of budget try to invest a lot on the gpu rather than the cpu and if you're building a create or productivity sort of build do the reverse thing invest a lot on the cpu there more number of cores and threads are important rather than the gpu so like this depending on the application you will have to choose the components wisely so in this particular case right we have saved a lot of our budget and invested on the rtx 4070 from msi this is a ventus 3x edition gpu guys and costs around like 58 60000 rupees in the indian market and offers like excellent performance so as i have told you this particular gaming pc is capable of doing really high frame rate 1440p gaming and also 4k gaming as well and yes you will be able to play games with ray tracing and tlss also so moving on and talking about the ram today i have something new from kingston i have their fury renegade 32 gb ram kit and guess what this is one of the fastest ram i actually have in my collection with up to 7200 mt per second 16 into 2 32 gb configuration it's like a super fast ram kit guys and it's going to make your pc sonic fast coming to the storage as i've told 
told you this is like future proof and upgradable so it supports up to like PCI Gen 4 SSDs as well but since we are a bit tight on a budget I'll be using like regular M.2 SSDs only so we'll be going with like a simple 512 GB SSD that will hardly cost you around like 2500 or 3000 rupees and talking about the cooler for the CPU now again as I've told you since we are a bit tight on a budget we are not investing on a separate air cooler we are using a stock air cooler that you get with your AMD Ryzen CPU only but say suppose you have a bit of extra budget to spend around two or three thousand rupees right go and invest in like a decent 120 mm air cooler plenty of models are there and you'll definitely see like better thermal results compared to the stock cooler but right now this stock cooler will definitely get your job done not bad i would say now coming to the power supply we actually have a new gen power supply from msi this is their all new a750 gl it's basically 750 or power supply and is like more than enough for this sort of configuration it's 80 plus gold rated and best part is it's a newer pci 5.0 ready power supply and comes with a special 16 pin gpu cable with a dual color combination you people remember what happened with the 40 series powerful gpus like the 4080 4090 a lot of cables were getting melted right and the reason for that is people were not actually plugging in the cable fully into the gpu and because of that cables were getting melted and you know lots of problems were arising so to solve this issue msi has made like a special edition power supply where you're getting a special 16 pin cable with a dual color combination so this particular cable has yellow pins on board and if you do not insert the cable properly you will see that yellow rim all around it so make sure you properly insert the cable and no yellow part is visible and that is how you can confirm cable has been properly inserted and your gpu is safe and finally coming and talking about the case so this can be a bit tricky so i'll leave this part up to you because everybody has like different sort of taste and budget requirements right so we'll be going with corsair's 4000 series case in this video but if you're a bit tight on a budget maybe you can go for a more affordable series case around like 3500 4000 again as i've told you totally up to you so that's it these are all the components and configuration of the pc we'll be building in this video let's quickly get started with the assembling and have a look at these beautiful cinematic shots of the same Okay, we actually had a bit of situation over here guys building this pc was done long back but it was not booting into windows operating system and because of that we wasted almost like 25 30 minutes i mean everything was turning on lights were coming rgb was glowing up but there was nothing shown on the display blank monitor screen so whenever these sort of situations come up right you'll need to check for the ram sometimes you'll have some sort of compatibility issue you're putting an intel ram on maybe like amd motherboard something like that some errors will come you might not be sure 100 percent of the time at these sort of scenarios now simply try to remove one of those ram sticks or maybe like replace that entire ram kit only and that is what we've actually done and voila our brand new pc is all set and good to go now let me give you like a beautiful look at this pc just have a look at these rgb shots and enjoy this video
Damn, now that's a beauty, right? Look at all those RGB components. Gorgeous looking PC. You know what? Staring at it kind of makes my heart flutter. Also, look at the cable management as well. Pretty neat, right? Definitely deserve a pat on the back for that. Anyways, here's a full setup that we'll be using today in this video. I'll leave links for all the products including the monitor and peripherals in the description box below. Quickly jumping into the benchmarks, let's see what this PC is capable of. Here are the Geekbench 6 results. Very impressive scores for the price, especially single core score. Ryzen 7600 beats even the 13 600k CPU that is almost 8 to 10,000 rupees more expensive but slightly falls behind in the multi-core segment and that was obvious because 13600k has more number of physical cores na, than the 7600 but see main thing as I've told you you're saving huge amount of cash over here that makes it much more value for money and here are the Cinebench 2024 results good numbers I would say very well performing PC build in 2023 and not just for gaming stuff it's good for your creative sort of applications as well maybe like photo editing, video editing, color grading and things like that. But as I've told you at the beginning, if you're building a PC solely for creative and productive sort of applications, I'd suggest investing more in a powerful CPU rather than the GPU. So this one is more optimized for gaming sort of experience. And as I've told you, RTX 4070 is quite powerful and can do a bit of 4K gaming as well. To put that to a test in this video, we will be playing lots of AAA title games at different resolutions and graphic settings, so you will get full information information about this product. Now obviously it's a high-end system and I wouldn't play it at 1080p resolution. That would be a joke guys. I mean you're building such an expensive PC. Nobody would play at 1080p resolution right. Minimum though you will go for like 1440p resolution. But let me tell you if you are playing it at 1080p resolution right. Aram say you'll get over 200 FPS in a lot of games and that is the reason we are actually not testing it out guys. Doesn't make sense. So the first game we'll be testing out is Cyberpunk 2077 and as you can see right now we are playing cyberpunk at 1440p resolution ultra graphics preset and in this first test right ray tracing is off and dlss is also off and you people know right cyberpunk is a very intensive game and on an average at these sort of settings we were getting around 68 to 70 fps in densely populated area and situation absolutely mad performance for the price muska smooth gaming experience and by the way look at the detail in the game Man, Cyberpunk is such a fine game, right? Anyways, let's also quickly enable ray tracing. All ray tracing options have been enabled and lighting set to medium. And on an average, we were getting around 40 frames per second. Pretty much playable, I'd say, but still takes quite a bit of toll on the performance. But mind you, DLSS was off till now. Quickly enabling DLSS at the same settings at 1440p with ray tracing. And BAM! Are you people looking at the difference? Now that is what I'm saying guys, huge improvement right now. We can almost see double performance boost when DLSS was enabled and set to balance. We were getting around like 80-82 FPS at 1440p ultra settings. So based on this right, you can do some excellent 1440p level gaming on this system. Now imagine if Cyberpunk was running like this, then what would be the scene with other games like maybe Spider-Man, Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Obviously you'll get like triple digit results. So as I've told you earlier, we will be testing it. It's 4K gaming capability as well and right now we are playing Cyberpunk 2077 at 4K resolution and graphics preset has been set to medium. And not bad guys, look at the results. We were getting an average of around 48 to 50 FPS even without DLSS enabled. Very much playable I would say. So let's move on to the second game which is Spider-Man Remastered, running it at 1440p resolution and maximum graphics. In this first test, ray tracing is off and DLSS is also disabled. And oh my god, what kind of sorcery is that? 140 to 150 FPS on an average. Now that boys, that is like a dream for all the gamers out there. Enabling ray tracing to high at 1440p and DLSS off was still going good and given an average of around 100 to 110 FPS. Excellent performance from MSI's Ventus 3X 4070. And look at the thermals as well, well under control as expected from a triple fan GPU. We've tested Spider-Man also at 4K resolution maximum graphics and we're getting an average of around 75 to 80 FPS. Imagine connecting a 65 inch 4K TV to this PC and playing these games at smooth graphic settings. 
Now that is the best experience you can ask for. Crazy part is when you enable ray tracing and DLSS set to balanced mode at 4K resolution, it was offering even better results than before. We were hitting above 100 FPS on an average. So based on all these sort of testings, I am telling you right, this is one heck of a gaming PC you can build around this price segment. You'll be fully satisfied with the experience. So that is pretty much it guys, time to wrap it up. Let me quickly tell you about the pricing involved building this PC. First of all, talking about the CPU, I've told you now, we have used AMD's Ryzen 5 7600 and this costs only around like 20,000 rupees in the Indian market. Coming to the motherboard, I've told you right, we have used MSI's B650 Tomahawk Wi-Fi Edition motherboard and this one costs around like 22,999. Now suppose if you're a bit tight on a budget and want to save even further, then instead of the Tomahawk Wi-Fi, you can go for a more affordable B650 motherboard from MSI. You'll lose out on Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and a couple of other stuff, but you'll save easily around like 7 to 8,000 rupees here only. Now moving on to the GPU part, as I've told you, we have went with MSI's RTX 4070 Ventus series GPU, available in both dual fan and triple fan edition, costs around like 60,000 rupees in the Indian market. Coming to the RAM, just go with any 32 GB 16 into 2 DDR5 RAM and it'll cost you around like 8 to 10,000 rupees depending on the brand and the model that you went with. And cooler though, I've told you now, we have used a stock air cooler that we get with the CPU, but if you can spend around like 3 or 4,000 rupees extra, invest in a good air air cooler, 120mm air cooler and you'll see huge improvements in the CPU thermals. Coming to the power supply, we have used MSI's A750GL which is a newer gen PCI 5.0 power supply and this one costs around like 9700 rupees in the Indian market. And talking about the case, use any case guys, this I'll totally leave up to you and your budget. If you have like good budget, go for the Corsair 4000 series case as I've used in this video. But if you are a bit tight on budget, then maybe go for like a 3 or 4000 rupees case and and you'll save huge amount of money. So just like this, depending on the components you choose, pricing of this particular configuration PC can go roughly around from 1.1 lakh to 1.2 lakh rupees. Links for all of them will be available in the description box below. You can check it out there. So that's it. I hope you all enjoyed watching the video and found it informative. Make sure to smash that like button and subscribe to my channel for more such awesome content. And I'll see you all in my next one.